Hi guys, today in this video we are going to look at the Lewis structure and total number of valence electrons for H2S. It's a chemical formula for dihydrogen sulfide and in this video we'll first discuss the total number of valence electrons in this molecule followed by its Lewis structure. So hydrogen is a group 1 element and it has one valence electron in its outer shell. But as there are two atoms of hydrogen here, we'll multiply this number by 2. Similarly, sulfur is a group 6 element and has 6 valence electrons in its outer shell. So the total number of valence electrons for dihydrogen sulfide will be 8. Now let's start putting atoms and its valence electrons to draw the Lewis structure of this molecule. Sulfur atom will go in the center because hydrogen atoms cannot take the central position in Lewis structure. So we will place sulfur in the center and both the hydrogen atoms will go on the outer side. Once you have done that, start placing all the valence electrons of the atoms. Hydrogen needs two valence electrons to complete its octet and it will share one electron of sulfur to do that. So we have two electrons between S and H on both the sides. So here we have used four valence electrons out of eight. The rest four will go around sulfur. After doing that, let's check if the octets of all the atoms are complete. Here hydrogen needs two valence electrons in its outer sh uh, shell to attain a stable structure. So both the hydrogens have two and sulfur has eight. But these two electrons or these two pairs of electrons are non-bonding pair of electrons or also known as lone pairs of electrons. Yet the octets of all these atoms are complete. So this is the Lewis structure for H2S. And for more videos on polarity, Lewis structure, molecular geometry of other molecules, subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.